Yes, and welcome back on the touchline. Bernardo Kumurati are still holding it fort by now, as we had promised. I'm pleased to have Henry Wanyoike, a runner who, has, who holds both records, three records. That's the 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters, as well as the marathon. And Henry Wanyoike has gone over and beyond, showing that the, uh, what, everything is possible, right? For sure it is possible. Uh, Karibu sana, Henry. Very First very time very on very the touch, I think, but we've met elsewhere and it was beautiful to see you again. You are one of the foremost ambassadors of the Standard Chartered Marathon when it began, I must say, that 20 years ago and still going on. I mean, how has it been for you? I remember um, when I was just like um, researching about this particular interview, I saw you when you were beginning at a race in... Um, in, in Sydney, right? And your, your guide runner somehow, Ali, Alianza Kulemeo Musho Musho went, but you were seeing, you were seeing like, no way to Kushinda, but the runner was like, <laughs> Kidogo Pumzi Naisha. How, I mean, coming from all that and going on to, to get all this success, how would you say it has been, Kwako? Okay, thank you very much, Bernard. The journey has not been so easy. You know when people they see people like us they see the final pro the, the finished product mm -hmm. but uh, in between I have gone through many challenges mm -hmm. and uh, with the with the best thing with the, in a in a sport it's all about mindset mm -hmm. so when you set your mind that this is what I want to achieve and you 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 do to whatever you are supposed to do mm -hmm. uh, work waking up early in the morning mm -hmm. doing enough training mm -hmm. you know I was telling somebody else that uh, you can work hard but work smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to work hard mm -hmm. and work smart. Mm -hmm. And that is why I said they, ha they have been champions. Mm -hmm. So I would love to be also a champion and I want mm -hmm. to do it in mm -hmm. the smart way. Mm -hmm. So this is how I started. Mm -hmm. And here today, I will celebrate it, mm -hmm. uh, even being in the Guinness World Book of Records, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. what I've been able to, yes. to show that yes. disability, uh, it's not an ability. Yes, and maybe, so, it's, uh, yes. Sorry. So, mm, so it's all about uh, how you take it, m that vision. Mm -hmm. So and I, that has been my message that I lost my sight, but not my vision. Yes. Yeah. yeah and, and you lost your sight. One day you went to sleep and you could not, when you woke up, it was not the same. Yeah, it was a very different word. Uh, it was, I lost my sight on 30th April mm -hmm. from 1st May. Mm -hmm up to date uh, for th more than now 28, 28 years, mm -hmm. have not been able to see. It wasn't easy in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was quite tough for three years. Mm -hmm. And to, uh, to accept that, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to change what, all what you, 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 you used to do. Mm -hmm. And then at that age, when I was, it was my prime age, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. And that is why it took me three years. But I thank God that uh, it was very short time. And uh, after rehabilitation and that, uh, even in fact, the time I was in, I was at a rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. This is the time I was able to qualify for Sydney, mm -hmm. and I won my first gold medal. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine during the time of rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. So you could see how I worked on mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. and I made myself a great person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, <laughs> and 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 how close is the knitting pool of us? We've seen some of your proceeds going into uh, establishing uh, the buying machines, you know, it's a story that also made you who you are. When I was in Sydney, and after my victory in Sydney, you know, the, everybody was talking about that it is when I was dragging my guide. Mm -hmm. It happens that on that day, so Arnold Swasindiga was in the stadium, mm -hmm. and he spotted me. So when we met after the race, he, I, at that time I was still in Machakos, and we used to have some, uh, some few challenges at uh, Machakos rehabilitation uh, for the bride. So I mentioned about the machine. So he organized some few knitting machines, and I brought them to Kenya and to the, to the institution. And uh, this is what I've been doing even up to date in the Henwanyoke Foundation, trying to make life better for others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And now you're here, uh, and also you've been an ambassador for the Standard Chartered Marathon. The 21st edition is on 27th of this month. That's like in two weeks or so after next Sunday, after next week, right? And for you, how has it been uh, crucial to you, the role that you've played in advancing the message? I'm happy that the, when the Naobi Marathon was born, mm -hmm. I've been there with it. I've been seeing it uh, being nurtured. I've seen it uh, being a big, big marathon. And this is a, a marathon whereby I would love to encourage everybody to take part. Mm -hmm. When we started, it was a small run for more than like 2,000 mm -hmm. people. And uh, we started at uh, state, uh, at City Hall, 
then we moved to Nyao National Stadium, then back to Huru, uh, Huru Park. Now we are at the Huru Gardens. Mm -hmm. So it has been a race where it, uh, we, we, it, with uh, challenges here and there. But let me tell you, mm -hmm. since they started, uh, the Nairobi Marathon was started, mm -hmm. uh, we have seen many, many people benefit, not only for running. Mm -hmm. I have seen people, their sweat, their energy and their resources has not gone to a waste. Because I have seen, like when we had the first time, the Sing is Believing initiative, more than 200,000 kids were able to be operated. Now they can be able to see they are back in school. They are those who now, they, they are now very dependent. This could have uh, 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 leave them uh, having a very miserable life. But today, they're enjoying life like any other person. Now we move to the, sing uh, to the future makers, yes. whereby we have seen many young people uh, uh, being shown on how they can be independent and how they can be able to progress. Mm -hmm. And I uh, have seen uh, working with the universities, uh, people with disabilities, it's very inclusive. Mm -hmm. So I have seen the a, a, a very unique marathon. Mm -hmm. Uh, to, to say the truth, I have been in many marathons in this world, Bahrain, Chicago, mm -hmm. New York, mm -hmm. and the beauty of Nairobi Marathon, this is the only marathon you run along the next to the National Park. Mm -hmm. And then it's an, another marathon whereby most of these champions, when they go to New York, they are being produced here in Nairobi Marathon. So you can see it's a marathon. Who, and then another thing is uh, because we want to make this country good, there is no other marathon you can run and go back home with a, a, a tree to plant. Mm -hmm. So the other marathon you finish, you get a tree, go and plant. So we are trying to even to work for our uh, for for nature, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for conservancy. Then we are trying to uh, steward a uh, one way of uh, tourism. We are trying to bring more more than ninety four countries last year. Mm -hmm. They took part in Nairobi marathon, and I'm happy that this year we have even more more turn out from different countries. So you can see they are bringing, mm -hmm. trying to improve our economy. So it's a great marathon. Yes, yes indeed. And maybe, uh, Henry, I know, that, I know that you had to deal with a lot of battles, but how did running or sports give you the mindset to deal with the battles that came your way? Okay, uh, with the marathons, you know, like uh, when I lost my sight, when I started my first marathon, it wasn't easy. It was tough. In fact, there was a time I was asking, my, why am I punishing myself? It was it because I didn't have the right shoe. I didn't have the, I didn't took water or in all water station. Then I took the wrong guide with me. It was so many, there were so many challenges on the way. But finally, mm -hmm. I still won the race mm -hmm. uh, in Japan. That was my first marathon. Mm -hmm. And this is something uh, after, when I won that race and I, when I finished, I saw myself at the finishing. Though I forgot all what I had gone through. And this really helped me very, very much that, uh, in life, there are so many challenges, mm -hmm. and unless you are up to, the, uh, you work on yourself, you you are you we are focused, you you are strong. It helps you have strong mind mm -hmm. to handle anything you come across. Mm -hmm. So this marathon has had, has enabled me to be a very different person. Mm -hmm. I don't fear anything. Today I always say, within my pace, mm -hmm. I'll get to my destination. Yeah. And this has been a, a message to many people who want to like to, to, to run the Nairobi Marathon this time. Just come, show up. Tomorrow you'll be a great, you'll be a different person. Mm -hmm. So come, it's good you have that courage, you have registered yourself. Mm -hmm. You have started with the thousands and thousands of people. And now you, 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 you won't be the last. Mm -hmm. I, I always tell people, you, you won't be the last. Maybe you'll be a group of people mm -hmm. uh, towards the head, but finally you see yourself at the end. And that medal you take home, I think it will always remind you, the, I, this is what I went through. And then you, 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 it will help you to even to work hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and I know that most of the Paralympians have inspiring stories. So you do. Yeah, I always uh, have a, you know, I have been uh, of great inspiration. I give motivation to this upcoming. And I have seen many people after talking to them, after what they have seen me doing. They want to be like Henry. Mm -hmm. They want to see that uh, we have challenged uh, uh, from what we are going through. If Henry has done what he has done with his condition, even for us, it, uh, we can also make, and I have seen them uh, doing so well, winning medals for this country and for themselves. So I've been a great instrumental to many, 
many people in this country, not only people with disability, mm -hmm. but to everybody, because in life there are a lot of challenges. But always out of those tough challenges, take them positively, and there might be something good out of it. Mm -hmm. Like my brightness, I took it in a positive way, and here I am, it has taken me far and wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and you still have three records that still stand up today. That's 5,010 Ken the Marathon, which is the most important one that you, you, you cherish of the three records that still stand. Mm, I cherish the marathon because uh, although it was tough in the beginning, but today it has enabled me to travel to many parts of the world. It has enabled me to interact with the different people. It has given me the name. Though the five and ten uh, gave me, that, is, that was the, uh, like the turning point of my better life. Mm -hmm. uh, but I value them because the marathon, it, you need a kujituma. Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. it, you need to have that confidence or you need to believe in yourself. I have to do for two kilometers. You know, when you are starting the race, you feel you have a lot of energy. You want to do the for two. It's like when you mention for two, it's like for, uh, for two steps. Mm -hmm. But when you go to actualize, it is even hard. By 10 kilometers, you feel you are good. 21, you feel it's like the, the sugar levels are going down. By the time you are getting to that kilometer, you feel like you are hitting the wall. So 12 more kilometers. So by the time you get to that 8 kilometers, you look back what you, are, what you have done and now what is remaining. Mm -hmm. It helps you to even to continue. And this is, I try to, like, to, 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 uh, to, uh, to relate with it the life today mm -hmm. if you can make it in the marathon anything else in life it is possible so when you have done the marathon and i would try to encourage everybody one day challenge you challenge yourself to do a marathon take uh, that courage take the first step every step counts in the marathon because it, 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 that one step you have to get to those many many steps mm -hmm. and it is possible it has yes. been possible to me it, I want to educate everybody to, uh, it can be also possible to them. Yes, yeah. and, and 231, that means that you can even take on Elliot, you're telling me that Munafaku Kimbia Skumoja. Yeah, in fact, there was a day I met him, mm -hmm. I told him, I, I want to challenge you, my, 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 my brother. We have, you have done five, I have done five. You have done the marathon, you are the world champion, the mar I'm also the world champion in the marathon. Why don't we do this? You'll be bright-footed. <laughs> we run together. You see who is more faster. <laughs> and I would love to encourage you uh, to see who can be able to come and challenge me in the marathon. Those who are sighted, mm -hmm. love to, uh, to see who is more strong. And uh, people should appreciate people like myself, learning with a guide and with this fantastic time. Mm -hmm. When you are doing it on your own, it is very easy. Mm -hmm. But when it comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. when it comes now, you have to be with a guide that is so and a difficult. guide has also to be with, within that time. Yeah, he has to be even more strong. Like I said, my first marathon, I spent eight guides to finish the race. But today I can learn with one guide mm -hmm. to the end. Mm -hmm. So it needs also somebody who is also focused, somebody who can be able to, who has been training very well, somebody who is even more, more strong because on the way he has to check the time, he has to get water for me. He has to tell me where we are turning. So we talk on the way. Mm -hmm. So that is why you see we lose some minutes there. Uh, but when you do it on your own, you do have to do it on your calculation on yourself. Yes. It is easy. Yeah, and, and maybe at the beginning when you're now like being assigned a guide, how did you pick the right guide when you're beginning? How was it? Okay, in the beginning it was quite hard because I don't know who, uh, I even for me, any experience, like in Sydney I had only one guide. And he was not feeling to even by that day of the competition. So it, I, didn't, I, I didn't have any experience how I need to get a good guide. But today, I know how to get a good guide that you need to get somebody you can trust. That one, number one. Somebody who is disciplined, somebody who is focused. Somebody who can also give you his time, mm -hmm. his energy, his even resources. Somebody who can sacrifice uh, his run to yourself. And then somebody you, you are reading from the same, uh, from the same book and mm -hmm. from the same page. Mm -hmm. So these are the, the qualities of a good guide. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you work as a team, it is even easier. When you are running, when you are running, you can't differentiate because we have the same rhythm. We are making the same steps. 
it becomes so smooth. It, it you doesn't have to. But in the beginning, it was quite hard to get mm -hmm. a person with such qualities. Mm -hmm. But today, thank God, I have a mm -hmm. nice people. But I want to thank all my guys who have been with me. Yes, Kibunja they, was your. Yeah, he yes. has been a, a great person to my life. Yes. Although they have added to other activities mm -hmm. or in other sports, mm -hmm. but these are the people who has enabled to me who I am today. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate their their good work they have done to me. They have done so much, sacrificing their, their time, mm -hmm. their resources, and their energy to, to see be, that yeah. I'm a world champion. Yes. Yeah. And there's no better way to repay them, right? 231, do you think it will be brought down? Uh, not anytime soon, even 5 and 10. You know, I've been able to beat these records more than, more than three times. Mm -hmm. So I've been beating my own leg. When I go to this competition, I always target Henry Wanyoike. That has been my <laughs> big... <laughs> by big uh, like uh, competitor yeah, yeah motivation yeah motivation yeah. so yeah. i always when i am in in a race i know i'm going to compete with henry wanyoike so that has been my great uh, motivation and, and, and henry wanyoike is always breaking records and the conqueror or sometimes you feel like it's difficult you know sometimes you feel it is, it is difficult and you know to become number one is not so easy to maintain that like uh, that position is even more harder. And you can imagine how many people are working outside there, the whole world is aiming or what they are working out hard for these records. As I said, you work hard and you work smart. And that is why I always make sure all these competition I go, I make sure I beat even if it's one second means a lot to us. Because in sports, one second or even a microsecond can make you a world champion. So I've been beating my own records now and then mm -hmm. to make sure that they are safe. Yes. I believe in the next, I don't know how many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and I wish that they can remain for that for many years. To come. Yeah, to come, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in both bo the three of them. Let's get back to the, um, about the standard chartered Nairobi Marathon. You talked about inclusivity. How important is this for the marathon to embrace inclusivity? I feel good with Nairobi Marathon. Not many marathons that we have uh, inclusivity, mm -hmm. but th there's another uniqueness in Nairobi Marathon whereby we have uh, all the categories. Nowadays, we used to have wheelchair, 21 kilometers for the people with uh, who on the wheelchair. Today, we have other kind of disabilities. All of them are quite represented. When we have the Rene Marathon, you can mix those who are visually impaired, those who are on the wheelchair, those who are cerebral palsy, those who are deaf, you can have that combination. It, the marathon has become, in, uh, we have that diversity. And I'm very good because uh, we need to leave no one behind. And one of them, of the people with the disability, and I then want to thank uh, Starachat at uh, uh, Nairobi because they made me their brother, but in, even in my condition, most of the people you don't think there is any other marathon, any other, other any other sport whereby a mini image of a person with a disability is there heading as their uh, their brother. But, but it's the, that is why you said Nairobi Marathon. It's a unique marathon whereby everybody is welcomed. Everybody is, uh, is we always welcome anybody. And we know the why we is mm -hmm. getting better and mm -hmm. sweeter every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. We rely with the with the what the the the, uh, the anybody who is taking part in the marathon mm -hmm. the, from their reports of what they have done and what they have seen on the way and who was, so we always improve every year because of their reports mm -hmm. we get from the uh, anybody who take part in the in the marathon. So we don't dismiss any idea. Mm -hmm. We always work with on how we can uh, always make it better. And today it's a, it's a, it's a marathon which is recognized worldwide. Mm -hmm. So if you take part in Nairobi Marathon, you can go to any marathon in this world. You do it in Nairobi, now go to Chicago, Bahrain. You yeah. can, you can yeah. now enter very easily. Yes, yeah. and because now the, also the vision of the organizers to have it as a, a, major, a major marathon, an MM on the series. So we wish them all the best. But after 20 years, this is the 21st edition. What do you think is the legacy of the marathon? Uh, for the 20 years, the, you know, uh, it, uh, this is a marathon whereby uh, it has done so many things, as I said, in the, this country. And this is, a, uh, in fact, I do think it is the biggest marathon in, the, in Africa. You can imagine, and also this, the marathon whereby it has produced many champions. Most of the, these world records you have seen, 
these people have are made it by Nairobi. So this is a legacy which will remain there for this man. And also you can see 200,000 children have been able to, to benefit out of this, and many young people, yes. and you can see the inclusivity of this marathon. Mm -hmm. And that is why you see, mm -hmm. before we used to tell people keep registering, we used to tell them register for the marathon, but today, mm -hmm. they register in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not the time, you know, we used to say Kenyans, they, they come at the head. This time, like now, if the marathon, now it's full. No, I don't think, they are, we, the, our target was 23,000, and now, we it's now 25. It's, it's 25 already yes. mm -hmm. and more people want to register up to date mm -hmm. you can see that now people have the interest mm -hmm. they will, i believe the next year we might even go to that thousand mm -hmm. this is the biggest uh, event in uh, in kenya mm -hmm. whereby people come they pay to come and participate yes, when they go for politics mm -hmm. they have to be paid sometimes <laughs> but for this one it's you pay mm -hmm. and then you come I, and are you, are you running yeah, I'll be taking part in the 10 kilometers. Uh -huh. After the 10 kilometers, I go for the 5K uh -huh. to motivate the family run uh -huh. because I want to see more champions coming out of this, uh, this marathon. Yes, so I'm happy to mm -hmm. see more and more people coming mm -hmm. in the family run and uh, in the 10K. And, the 10K. and I want to see more people participating in the marathon. And I'm happy now, after the Nairobi Marathon, the be other beauty of the Nairobi Marathon, we have so many recreation clubs in mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. out of the Nairobi Marathon. Yes, that is yes, why you yes, see yes. the Nairobi Marathon is very unique. Recreation, there are quite many. Uh -huh. In fact, 95% of the Nairobi Marathon, the structure of the Nairobi Marathon, is the recreation mm -hmm. runner. So you mm -hmm. can see, it's a run which is leaving a mark. Yes. Not even as, it's a mark. Yes. And you see, because of the health issues, for the lifestyle, uh, yeah. the lifestyle disease. Uh, now everybody want to take part in, in exercise. This, yes. In the exercise, mm -hmm. so it has uh, uh, people want to be, to challenge themselves, mm -hmm. and that is why you see now Kenya has become a sportive nation. Yeah, because are of aware. The, yeah, <laughs> now they are aware. Mm -hmm. In October, Star Chatana Marathon is coming. So they keep preparing for uh, if uh, the event, the, the, the event. The races that yeah, are coming. So even for those who are not taking part this year, they are saying next year we want to see ourselves in the marathon. So I believe next year we have a very big marathon. Yes, yeah. indeed. Henry, as we wind up, maybe that's a final one from me will be, when is the Henry Wanyoike run? Is it coming back? Yeah, the Henry Wanyoike run, we normally do it in every year, June. Uh -huh. We did it this year, June uh -huh. 15. Uh -huh. we are, we are, I think the edition is coming next year, June. Uh -huh. And I want also to encourage, and this is also born after Nobi Marathon. So you can see many, many marathons yeah. in the country yeah. has been bought out of from Nairobi, Nairobi from the start at Nairobi Marathon. Yes. Yeah. We wish you all the best, Henry. Thank, Thank you. you so much for gracing the touchline and all the best in your upcoming race. That's at the Nairobi Standard Chartered Marathon. It's happening on 27th of this month. That should be flagged off at Uhuru Gardens, right? And so everybody, I think the registration has not closed yet. So for the 1,000 runners, last time we checked, they were targeting 25,000 runners, and so far there were like 24,000. So the 1,000 must be hitting, uh, getting the target by the end of the week. But quickly, 27th, the day of the race. Henry Wanyoki is the ambassador of the race and has been speaking with us on the touch. And thank you so much, Henry, for your thank time. Thank you very much. And I really appreciate and wish all the best to the everybody who is coming on that mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Come in big numbers. Mm -hmm. There'll be a lot of fun. Bring your family. There is praise for even for the kids too. And also for those who are breastfeeding, mm -hmm. they are, uh, there is a corner the for them, yeah. There is a corner for them. So everybody is well catered. Mm -hmm. And also there is a lot of entertainment. There is a lot of exhibition on that day. Mm -hmm. So come and uh, have the best of your race. Mm -hmm. Come and uh, better your best. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> come and better your best. That's how we leave it at that. Thank you so much, Henry, the, brand, uh, the race ambassador for the Nairobi Standard Chartered Marathon. He also holds three records, world records, over 5,000, 10,000, as well as the marathon. This is the touchline. Up next, I'll be talking to SSOs, the senior security officials who attended the CAF training this week. Don't go too far.